my name is Hope and welcome back to my channel. I like musicals, they're a big part of my life and today we're going to be reacting to Jagged Little Pill musical but with a slight twist. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be listening to the soundtrack of Jagged Little Pill which I have never heard and we're going to try and guess the plot. Now the only thing I know about Jagged Little Pill is that it's music by Alanis Morissette. My mum really liked the album, it's one of her favourite albums of all time. And it's probably about drugs. Otherwise the title, Jagged Little Pill, is probably a bit bizarre. But other than that, I know absolutely nothing. And that's just a guess. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Why use harmonica? This is so weird. I'm confused. I have so many thoughts already. Harmonica. Why? Oh, I know we're at guitar. I am. I'm so confused. I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. Why do the voices sound so electronic? Like someone's put a filter over the voice. Not like auto tune. Like like these sound like weird. She has a good voice though. I'm guessing these two are a couple and they want justice for something. I don't know. Oh, I feel like this is going to be like different couples, like talking about each other and what they want. I don't know. I quite like this song. Although I'm really struggling to understand a lot of the words that they're saying. I don't know what's going on. So, teenagers that have a lot of angst. I really like that silence moment though. That was cool. Is that Anthony Cipriano? Three songs in and I'm still just as oblivious as I was at the beginning. I feel like if you liked this musical, you probably quite like Carrie. They are quite different, but like a lot of the styles and songs kind of remind me of one another. So yeah. Oh, I've heard this song before. This is another person. Another angsty teenager. Maybe the person that she's talking to has just had like a panic or is annoyed or scared and this is her motivation to be like you don't have to be scared scared of what though i don't know i think this is probably going to be like this is some sort of motivational song either to someone or like to her like trying to be like i can do what i want and i can prove people wrong kind of thing see the girl who's joining in i think she's just like joined in with the motivational speech that's who was mad at the beginning i don't know if this is right we'll find out <laughs> maybe definitely teenagers there was a school bell teenagers if you know what the line is at the end of that song you'll know why i just made that face this is very much a change of tone they sound older parent maybe it's a bit no i get weird vibes from this song i have a feeling that she has some sort of issue with a drug addiction getting that jagged little pill which is like i can't remember much and stuff and she can't remember so did i just say that twice i can't remember i think something emotional happened or some like physical trauma some kind of crash as she said and that like made her spiral into this addiction maybe <laughs> i don't know man i don't know <laughs> this girl's got some vocals on her i can tell you that i wonder if she's like anthony's mother maybe i really thought she was gonna like kill herself but i feel like it's too early in the musical for her to do that she's just struggling i think but like i said i don't know <laughs> They're calling out the irony, how it's not ironic at all. But I just want to point this out. This song is ironic because the song itself uses lyrics that aren't ironic, which makes it ironic, which I think is amazing. So this is this band of friends and she wants to make a point and like everyone else is just like not for it. But like they're going to end up together. The boy who's kind of like letting her finish and her. But other than that, I don't know what's really going on. These are probably the main characters. I think the man who's not Anthony Cipriano is gay. I have literally no justification other than they didn't say the word wife. I do like this song. <laughs> Their vocals are so pretty. They've got to end up together. You know, you don't have a romantic little bit at the end and a duet bit line with harmony if you're not gonna end up together at the end or at least have some sort of romantic plot line throughout the show. I can't pinpoint whether this is like an, a dad or like just a mature sounding teenager. I feel like it's a dad though. Maybe it's the, the husband of the one singing smiling, maybe. Yeah, they're definitely a couple, I think. 
yeah and they're talking about like their their struggles she's like sad and he's like be happier but in like a nicer way than that this song gives me like very next to normal vibes in like theme i don't know anthony is meant to be the perfect child he has to like get on to a certain level to impress his like parents and be prove to them that he's like the best guy yeah or he's talking about his mom and how he always helps her even though he's the child yeah controlled parents controlling parents she, he has to be like the best at everything that's what it is also i'm pretty sure this anthony and uh, he's slaying yeah he doesn't want to be this but he's being forced to be it i didn't mean anthony did i mean anthony derek it's one of the two but like yeah it's kind of like Alyssa green with the male version i think this is some sort of party mainly it's just called lance's party in brackets soapy or and there's a mad dancing i don't know who lancer is though i don't think it's either of the two boys that we've met three boys even i don't know none of them seem like a lancer to me okay so they're all talking about how they want to be still be seen in the same way as they are and like as good people even if they do things that are wrong or they make mistakes or that if they aren't who people expect them to be okay i think one of the girls is gay not the other guy just because like you won't accept me and stuff and someone's lost a parent well i think i know the chorus of this song i don't know the words but like, i recognize it also the guy and the girl have fallen for each other like i said oh i just got here with a lovely harmony not only are these harmonies wonderful beautiful all the lovely words but um i'm starting to fall in love with this show <laughs> even though i know absolutely nothing about it because it's pretty damn beautiful i feel like the girl got cheated on that's what i'm guessing this what it seems like it's like it's not fair i got cheated on no one gets any punishment maybe i'm going back i think he's gay still <laughs> I don't know what this shows about, man. It's beautiful, but I don't know what it's about. I feel like they're talking about how it's easier to ignore the problems that they face rather than to face them because no one really ever gets punished for them other than you. And like, they wish that people who do wrong things get punished or something like that. The mother who was like sad at the beginning, she has gone to church, whether that be real or metaphorical. The song's called Forgiven, so I feel like this is like forgiving her sins, but I don't know what they are. Did she get into like a car crash and like her family died or something? Like her brother and stuff. This is a very choral musical, like there's literally chorus singing in pretty much every song. So this is kind of about like, secret keeping and reasons for keeping secrets and how they regret that this is a powerful end to act one powerful even though i don't know what it's about i don't know if the crime they're talking about is real or not but um people know about it and choose not to say something about it is everyone just seeing a therapist or is it like someone had been admitted to a psych ward don't know i want some context <laughs> i thought they were talking to a therapist but i don't even know at this point so this is just like a love song like confessing the love for each other whatever so it's like anthony and the girl but then i thought it sounded like the mother and the father so maybe they're not maybe they are a mother and a father but of like different people like of, i was gonna say of the two no not two that'd be weird just like two adults are both parents this song is just nice I like it. It's nice. But that's about it. <laughs> I feel like this is just a song about how she was like never the best at anything. But she's okay with that. And she's her. Yeah. She's like doesn't want to be told what to do. She can be who she wants to be. She can do what she wants to do. And she's earning that. Did she get... Did I say something about her? I genuinely don't know. Sorry if I did. Oh my god. I'm getting the context that I didn't want. <laughs> Another issue is with the girl's voice is I can't discern like one from the other so I don't know which one she is. This is like a weird song but like a good song but it's kind of weird. I feel like this is obvious but I feel like I have to say it. Clothes are not an invitation. Ever. And that's not okay. Ever. Yeah, I said it. I have to say it because it's true. Okay, so this is an ex-girlfriend. I don't think this is the girl I just signed. I think this is someone else, I think. And she's mad because he's moved on maybe that's what it seems like i'm or was she the gay one the one that i said was gay i don't know if they are but this could be said to a girl new girlfriend moody for that but this shit his okay 
So, girl, girl, boy. Wait, so she's mad. I think it's her ex-girlfriend who must be bisexual. And she has a new boyfriend. And she's mad because, like, she thinks that she's a lot better for her than he is for her. Did I get it right? Did I? The instrumental is very creepy. I am also disturbed. I agree with the lyrics of the song. I don't think I can make any guesses from this. It's very weird and strange. The music has totally just changed in tone and stuff, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I have no idea what went on just then. Did she try and kill herself? I feel like you're saying to a girl in the coma. Oh no, she isn't because he's asking my question. But genuinely, such a cute couple. <laughs> he's so accepting. So she overdosed and he's okay with that. He's okay with the drugs. So that explained why I didn't understand what was going on in the last song. Oh, that too cute. That too cute. I feel like if you mixed Bear, Next Normal and Carrie together and then just added like 50,000 notches of teen angst, you would get Jagged Little Bill. And I'm totally up for that. I think this is another song about um, predatory behaviour we heard about earlier. And if you're wondering why I'm not saying the word, it's because I, if I ever become monetized, I don't want this video to get demonetized. Is she pressing charges? And it's the male voice, the gal that did it. I wanna know. Is this just like a thank you for the people who've made me who I am today kind of song? Like, just kind of like an empowerment kind of song? That's what I'm getting from it. Okay, so this is the end of the show, the, the last song. And it's really nice. It's just kind of talking about how when you live, you learn. Whether that be good or bad, whether it be easy or hard. But if you get through it, you live and you learn. And that's pretty amazing. Okay. I thought that was great. I really liked it. It was really up my street. We'll definitely be listening to it again. But now it's time for the moment of truth. Finding out how close I was. And I don't think I was very close at all, but we'll just, we're just gonna have to see. So I'm gonna read it. <laughs> I'm gonna read the Wikipedia summary and then I'll get back to you. Okay. I was so far off. I mean, I really don't think I've got any further away. I was, I was so wrong, man. I think the issue came a lot of it was to do with the fact that I couldn't discern the voices of the people. Oh my god, I said that. The person that the guy was singing to was his girlfriend, but hey, it was the mother. It was the mother who overdosed. And then no one ended up together at the end. And um, there was only like three things that I got right. Like there was a, there was a fam, like there was a brother and a sister. I didn't know that. <laughs> Look, I don't think it's the soundtrack's fault and I feel like if you watch the show it would make a lot more sense to just listening to the music but um, I'm pretty sure the only things I got right were the fact that uh, people got together, there was a bisexual girl I was right about that. Uh, there was stuff about pills and the car crash thing. That was like the one specific thing that I was right about. Car crash, drug addiction. But they didn't die. Or at least it doesn't mention that they did on the Wikipedia article. Uh, and the perfect son thing. But, um, you know, pretty much everything other than that, I got wrong. If you want to read what the show is actually about, you can go to the Wikipedia um, and find that out for yourself but yeah i was so wrong and the only thing i would really say that it could improve on was um a lot of the time i didn't know what they were saying like the lyrics i don't think they were diction enough but i really liked it and i just want to say thank you so, so much for watching if you liked it like it if you like me subscribe keep enjoying musicals as much as me and i will see you in the next one